today at the preview of the Blender's Pride Fashion Tour 2016, we bring to you the creme de la creme of fashion, contemporary music, and edgy technology. Let's hear it for the launch of Blender's Pride Fashion Tour 2016. To kickstart this stylish evening, I, afternoon rather, I would like to call upon stage first. Assistant Vice President of Perno Rica, India, Mr. Raja Banerjee. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for taking the time out to be a part of this style journey with us. Welcome to the 12th edition of the Blender Sprite Fashion Tour. And uh, today we're going to talk about reflections of style. What we create in our day-to-day -day lives is a facet of the different types of style in us. Style doesn't conform, it transcends the expected. And only a very few people have the ability to own it and reflect it through their unique style. They keep the world guessing of their next move because that can't be anticipated. The Blender Sprite Fashion Tour celebrates such people who keep the world guessing with what their next move is going to be. And there is nobody better that epitomizes this than our very own brand ambassador, Priyanka Chopra. And like she says in her own words, that style is a mirror of her inner self. And it, it, it allows her to explore the hidden facets of her life. To her, it's a surprise every time. And that's the thrill of style. Welcome once again, and please enjoy our new campaign. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Raja Banerjee. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for. It is time to unveil the talent of Blender's Pride Fashion Tour 2016. Each of these illustrious designers have used their incredible creativity to bring us this spectacular afternoon. Our first designer duo for this afternoon have been stalwarts of the business. They have made, they have truly showed us what it is to make your name synonymous with your brand. Flamboyant, fearless, unmistakable. I can only hope I embody some of those qualities in this gorgeous outfit they have dressed me in today. Ladies and gentlemen, our first designer duo.
<laughs> good afternoon, good afternoon everyone and uh, welcome to the 12th edition of the Blenders Pride Fashion Tour. I have no idea what's wrong with the fashion industry. I mean, they're working on a Monday afternoon these days. <laughs> I mean, it's never happened when I was around. Um, when I was around, I mean, we were in this revolution of, you know, of the fashion industry and, uh, you know, there were a few designers who were coming out there, trying to do their thing, very few shows, um, each one with a distinct style. And uh, I think all that helped me to grow, evolve into going into the movies, you know, uh, being now producing a film. And uh, the fashion industry has given me a lot and I've always observed it extremely closely and I'm so proud today to see how wonderfully it has grown with such wonderful talent out there. And uh, it's been, what, two decades, I guess, and this industry is finally out there doing fantastic work internationally, in India, everywhere, contributing tremendously. And similarly with Blender's uh, Pride, the fashion tour that they do. I mean, it's an insane property. I saw it at its infant stage. I remember going for the first show and uh, seeing it, and it's the 12th edition of it now. It's been 12 years, and time really flies. And I think a really, really difficult task to bring the designers under one roof. I mean, I don't know anybody who could have done that, you know? Different designers to come together under one roof. It's not uh, very acceptable, at least when I was around at that time, you know, designers did their own shows, they were bitchy about each other, and I think what happens now is you get kind of united, you know, you bring a unity towards them, there's a healthiness in their camaraderie, and it's wonderful to see that, you can share uh, each other's opinions and views upon an industry, and that's the best way for an industry to grow, and I think Blender's Pride Fashion Tour does that, allows people to do that, and that's really, really great, so, that's wonderful, and talking about discussions, what we're going to discuss today is we're going to go deeper and break down style. Now, what is style? You know, what it means to people, and uh, I'm very interested to be a part of this conversation with this wonderful panel of designers who are going to come here. The Ladies and gentlemen, before we get to the panel discussion and as we prepare for it, I would like to introduce our music curator for this oh. afternoon. Um, a man who is changing the electronic indie scene uh, in India at the moment. He's an, he's an incredible talent. He's one half of the medieval pundits. I'm sure you're all very, very familiar with it. Please put your hands together for Gaurav Raina. Okay. Come sit, Gaurav. <laughs> that was nice in the middle of all my talk. <laughs> Suddenly you're popping up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, so what, where was I? <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, so what we're going to discuss today in, with this panel that's going to come, and I'm very interested to be a part of this discussion, um, is the reflections of style. What does reflections of style mean to us? And this uh, wonderful panel is going to discuss it with us. I'm really intrigued to know because I keep getting thrown with this um, question that has become very boring for me every time I do an interview where everybody says, oh Arjun, what's your style statement? And I think I've started giving very boring uh, answers to that. So hopefully I get a more insight into style and what style really is. So please put your hands together for these wonderful designers, our panel for this afternoon. Where are these designers? Uh, can you come up? Or are they going to pop up from somewhere again?
Yeah, you're clear? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this season is about reflections of style. All right? And um, so who do we start with here? We will start with the youngest one there. She looks very pretty and attractive in all her prints. Masaba. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, what does Masaba mean? I, mean, I really wanted to know the name Masaba. Uh, well, it means princess in Swahili. Ah, yeah. but you are a princess, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, and I was told that you got into this, you, you dabbled with a lot of other things and then you had your calling in fashion and how did that happen? Well, uh, yeah, I tried a bunch of things before I sort of found myself in fashion. I was uh, dancing for a long time and I'm trained in music, so I was singing in London and uh, then I came back and found myself at fashion school and then at fashion week, so it's, it's been sort of a fluke but uh, a happy one, so. A fluke? A big fluke. <laughs> well, uh, nice to have flukes like this come into your life. <laughs> So what is your idea of reflections of style? Like if you say, what is it? Like, it, does it come inherently from within you or is it something that inspires you and how does it go? I think uh, for me it's, it's sort of a mix of two things. One is that um, my style is actually a big sort of melting pot of both my cultures. Um, you know, where I come from, where I grew up, uh, all the people that I've met, all the women that I've interacted with, I think that's what uh, my style is about. Um, secondly, I think uh, all the people that you see on the street, all the wonderful um, women so effortlessly dressed every day and, you know, um, just going about their day, I think for me that is, is true style, yeah. Okay. Okay, are you guys satisfied with that? <laughs> okay, I'll but now from, the... from this youngster, we'll go to this veteran. And I saw this guy in, uh, the first time I met him, he was a little kid, a little boy, who used to run around Rohit Bal's studio. He was mad, eccentric, and I met him 24 years ago, and 24 years later, he's still the same. Hasn't changed a bit. Uh, he changed the way styling happened on the runway. He brought his own cutting edge vibe to it. Today he's very easily become a big international name and uh, he's right there. This madman. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I assume that's me. <laughs> Dude, when, how did your voice change first? No, it hasn't changed. It's, it's been like this. No, no, you weren't like that. You were, yeah, well, not. Or maybe it was cracking ago. at that time and then it just kept cracking. I think I, I don't stop smoking. I enjoy it. So maybe that's the reason. <laughs> so, but I want to get into this guy's head. I think he's one of the most stylish guys. Okay, he's completely crazy. And uh, your idea, where does this come from? Where does this creation of yours, and it's very, very distinctly you, you know? My work is exactly the part of my personality. So it, it's really extension of me. And uh, I think I'm very honest to what I do and that shows uh, I really am what my work is. I don't work, I'm on a permanent holiday because I love my work so much. But tell me, like Manish, when you design, right, and you make clothes, they're clothes which people see and they say, oh my God, I've got to have huge guts to wear something like that, okay? And at the same time you have this um, cult of people, you know, who swear by just yours designs and they carry it off perfectly. Don't you feel scared, like from a business point of view, like how much am I going to sell, what's going to happen, all of that? I, I think fashion is about making a statement. It's not about making what people want you to make. It's about making people what you want them to wear. And that's what fashion is for me. And uh, pretty much I'm trying to, still trying to do that. It, that's how it is, fashion internationally. Designers have their own personal style and you make your own tribe who believe in you and start following you. That's what fashion is supposed to be. It's amazing because he has truly, truly defined style on a totally different level and all the best, Thank bro. Thank you. So who should we speak to now? The lady with the red lips? You shouldn't be saying these things. They're two ladies. <laughs> I need to talk to you. This guy is a great guy. And uh, I love his style. And I love 
whenever both of them style me. I've done work with them. And uh, why I love them is because when you wear their clothes, okay, you feel 10 years younger and uh, he makes you look much fitter than you actually are. <laughs> okay, and uh, so tell us, boys, Nikhil and Shantanu. What are your reflections on style? Um, reflection on style, you know, um, for me it's always been kind of inside out. Uh, how I feel is who I am and uh, I'm very verbose about it. Um, every day <laughs> I'm a new crazy guy waking up, waking up in the morning being somebody I want to be that day and um, every day is a new day for me, man, so. So what you got on your hand? Oh, this. So what you got on your hand, is that style or is that an injury? No, no, no. <laughs> there was, there was uh, some incredible duct tape lying at the back and I was thinking to use it for my tennis grip. So I was just trying it out. It's pretty <laughs> incredible. It's made out of fabric. So I was just having fun. <laughs> tennis grip? It's got a nice texture to it, so maybe. Wow, oh, and Shantanu? Yes. So you know, I'm the complete opposite of him, yeah? yeah? So I'm, so it's two reflections, one brand, so you multiply the reflection of style. For me, as much as the brand stands for uh, reinventing India and sort of bringing something from the past, and I truly believe that style has an expression and reflection to time. Uh, so we tend to bring that time back into its relevant stage and just sort of contemporize and modernize it in the most minimalistic form of couture. So for, I'm a classist at Har Arjun and I just sort of play around with a little bit of easy edginess. I, I can never do what he does. So I'm more inside out, not outside in. Okay. <laughs> so do you guys fight a lot about that? I mean, who's inside and who's outside and I don't know what you all are talking about. But <laughs> when you say inside, outside in our business, you have to be a little careful. Okay. Well, inside, outside in our case <laughs> is on the tennis court. So if, I, if the ball is inside the court, it's okay. my point. Okay. Okay. So that's, that's how Shantra and, and I, we, we don't and fight. What, what if somebody double falls? Then what happens? <laughs> <laughs> we restart the match yeah. again. <laughs> okay. Um, but Shantra and I always, uh, we, we only fight on the court um, or on a sports field, whether it's cricket, tennis or swim. Um, it's never at work. Touch wood. So far, it's been good. Okay. And then there's this wonderful couple here. Okay. Shane and Falguni. Hi, Arjun. Hi. Hey. What, you don't like Indians or what? You keep designing for all these international people. Lady Gaga, Fergie, who else? Rihanna. Uh, Paris Hilton. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't look good in that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so tell us, your reflections of style, this wonderful, um, you know, clientele that you have, okay, and they swear by you. And um, so what inspires you guys and what do you think is reflections of style for you? I I think we are very music inspired, you know, a lot of our clothes that we make are more sort of uh, musicians and real people of course, but I think the um, most amount, I mean I think we really enjoy creatively designing for these guys, the you know, the process is really challenging and so both of us have our whatever. We, we want to kill each other. You have your whatever kill we each really other. We really want to I kill mean, each what other. What is this way of working? <laughs> eh? I thought uh, sort of maybe Blender's Pride kind of unites all of you yeah. together, the fashion tour. I'm quite inspired by Shantanu and Nikhil. They don't fight at work. <laughs> <laughs> That's we a try lie. That for, we're not married, you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We try that for five minutes. It doesn't work, but though. <laughs> and who should we go to now? Don't look so nervous, Rohit. <laughs> no, but I'm going to go to this man, uh, Rajesh Pratap. Every time I meet him, he looks at me, he smiles, nods, but he never speaks. Okay? And uh, I remember the first… I'm, I'm wearing, in fact, his jacket today. It's a cool jacket, right? Okay, Rajesh, how would you style this differently on me? You just smile. Huh? <laughs> See, I have to get something more out of this guy. Okay, come on now, I've got my moment with you here. I love your clothes, I love them. I mean, you know, you've made it very classic and uh, what I love about clothing is comfort and there's no better um, with a great cut, 
you know, and you get the great cuts. Like what I'm wearing is like what this is like a bomber jacket meets a bandgala. What 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 is it? Something like yeah? that. Yeah, it's better like with it like this or <laughs> like that. Like that. Whatever you are comfortable with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Come on, tell us, what are reflections of style for you? I don't know, I still don't know what style is. I, at times, it's really, uh, it's a word which is being used a lot, like inspiration in uh, trade. I think it's, uh, for me, it's just about making clothes. It's, uh, it's important how I make them, how the fabric is made. It's the construction and the engineering which excites me. Um, I think that's what it is for me. Yeah, but how do, you, how do you keep changing and evolving yourself? You've evolved hugely, I've seen that. I mean, first it was just shirts, you know, you really used to focus on shirts. I'm talking about like 20 years ago, right? And from there, I mean, I've just seen this huge transformation in you. So, it was always jackets for me. It was, just, it was easy to sell shirts. <laughs> so, it, uh, I trained as a jacket maker post school, so that's what I worked on. and. Um, um, yeah, it's just kept evolving. I don't really um, work, uh, I don't really think about the DNA, I just work on uh, construction and uh, the engineering and how the fabric is made. So and that's important for me. And so the technology changes, what happened? Do you use technology a lot? Or? I do, but uh, it's, I use things which are very, very high tech and I mix it with something which is very low tech. It's, uh, I use uh, things which are made in, uh, um, simpler hand looms and I go into air jet looms and I mix both of them. I go into um, materials which are used for high altitude clothing or uh, bulletproof clothing into regular garments. I use metal. It's anything which, it's construction which excites me. So that I'm basically more excited about that and style, inspiration, you know, big words come later. God, he's talking here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> And now to this, what do, how do I even introduce what do you, have to say? you? You know, I don't want to say the wrong things here, <laughs> okay, I mean, I really don't. I know these two boys, they're mad, they're crazy, you know, and at the same time, in all that madness and craziness and, uh, you know, uh, large-heartedness towards fashion, because I believe fashion is fun and uh, Rohit and Rahul represent that, you know, and their clothes, and at the same time, you get organized. How do you get organized in all that madness? You get organized. The organization is all about Rahul. He's the organizer. I'm the uh, prankster. I'm the one who no, makes, that we know. Makes, makes work into fun. Yeah. And he's the one who's always organized. No, but he's also fun, dude. Yeah, but… <laughs> You're going to fight, huh? Don't start fighting here. Okay. No, no, fight. no, so tell us. Okay, you've been in the industry for so long. And I've seen it, you've, I think you are the fastest growing uh, brand today, you know, in this industry. And I feel really proud for both of you. And yes, uh, you guys have done fantastically well. So how do you evolve? How, what is your reflections of style and how have you kept yourself going for so many years, motivating yourself? I think, um, the, I think staying true to yourself I think that that's what really matters. It's been so many years. Um, this Blender's Pride is 12 years old now. We've been a part of it. I think uh, we meet people, we uh, work in art, we run an art gallery, we meet so many artists, we meet, uh, we travel. So architecture, art, meeting people, it just inspires us and you keep on doing some new things. Um, like look at you, you've worn a bangla with a long t-shirt, that's reflection of style. It looks lovely on you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and you're in a naughty mood today. Am I? Yeah. How do you know that? I can see. <laughs> yeah, I always look naughty, man. Okay, I'm a naughty guy. But um, that's my style. Yeah, that, that's the way <laughs> yeah, you made Somebody, somebody should do that. That's my reflection of style, naughtiness. See, I found an answer. I actually found an answer. What's your style statement? I, naughtiness. I think it is just comfort, ah. naughty, be yourself. <laughs> just be yourself and feel comfortable in the space you are in. I think that's what style is. I think it's very personal. I think it's each to their own. I feel a person should wear. I wear black all the time. I know because it's concealing a bit. But uh, otherwise, I feel a bit, yeah. But I feel that, yes, I think a person should just wear what they can and what they enjoy wearing and what they're comfortable in. 
making too much of an effort, going too crazy about and too uh, stressed about what you're going to wear. I don't think, I think you should just be comfortable and feel happy in what you wear. Okay, great. So, um, I think that's it from our panel. We've spoken to everybody. Anybody needs to contribute Please anything to else? Gaurav. Anybody wants to ask? Gaurav. Ah, Gaurav. Gaurav, Gaurav. Oh, you make clothes, man. So, what's Gaane banate ho? So, um, style. Yeah, I mean, the most stylish people are musicians. Okay, and um, when you create your music, okay, and electronica, I mean, it's now become really big, but I've known you for many months as well, and the medieval pundits are like iconic people. And um, it was tough to get and educate people first, you know, and you have a distinct style in your music, of course. So, um, where does that come from? What's the motivation of that? Um, well, I think… Blended uh, into Blender Sprite, fashion tour, with these designers, when you're mixing for them, do you do something different? Uh, well, um, I think this, my style is obviously related to my music and uh, that's about my life and my experiences. And, uh, you know, growing up in India, with, with Indian, in an Indian family and going, growing up in clubs at the same time and then putting it all together, mixing electronica with uh, traditional music and all sorts of things. Uh, that's pretty much what Medieval Pandits has always been about. Like, just how you experience growing up in India in this generation. Uh, well, coming together with these guys, uh, I've been in the fashion industry for a while doing music for fashion shows and uh, that's apart from Medieval Pandit, so that's how I've known these people for so long and um, I love them. And when Blender's Prize uh, Fashion Tour started, um, I thought that uh, it's a good time to get live music back into the scene. So, so we have live musicians on stage for each of these shows and I put together interesting mixes uh, of um, a producer from a different genre, a singer from a different genre mixed with a couple of uh, live musicians and, and um, I try and uh, curate uh, the show, the music of the show itself in terms of energy, in terms of vocals. So you do that live? It's all going live? Uh, well, you? there's rehearsals before. So the musicians are live, yes. So there's guitars, there's drums, there's a laptop, there's um, singers. And uh, in some cases there are some surprise elements which, I, which will just happen later yeah. and we'll announce them later. But yeah, so it's a whole stage full of live musicians. And it's rehearsed or do you get kind of spontaneous somewhere? Well, um, we have discussions with them before, so we decide on the flavors. Okay. But I, uh, like right now, I don't really know what each of them is doing, but I have a fairly good idea of what space it'll be in. Western, Indian, slash, edgy, dark, whatever. And so on the basis of that, I've created the bands and then we get into a more in-depth discussion about the music and then take it from there. Oh, wonderful. So now come on, before we go, I want to ask each one of you, Rajesh Pratap, tell me, on this panel, who do you think is the most stylish? Not me, huh? I'm out of this. So I'm, Your I'm most stylish design, one person. <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic. For me, it's Gaurav Raila. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's out of it too. And then from the designers, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you're designers, man. I want to have no, some fun No, it can't fun be here. one person. They're all different styles. So, um, all of them have really individual looks, I would say, and that's something your which favorite. we really… They do. Your favorite. From all the, pick favorite. one. Quickly, come on. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you've got to be a spot. One. So, so there was this guy um, who was my roommate at NIFT. He was a horrible. <laughs> he started talking a lot. <laughs> and um, he was a horrible guy. Um, <laughs> but the most honest guy I've met in design. And um, so I, I guess it'll be him, just because I love him so much and, you know, we are family. So I would, it'll be him. He's on this panel? Yeah, kind of. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, oh, that's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, go for it, Masaba. Oh. Your favorite? Oh, really? Uh, on this panel? Manish. I mean, oh. I've, I've grown up on his style, so. Okay. Yeah. Manish. 
I would say Rajesh because he doesn't care about style. <laughs> because he doesn't care. That's why. He's, he's just, he, he just dresses the way he wants. Okay, come on, Rohit. Hundred percent Rajesh. For sure. The, okay. the coolest and the most chilled out. Rahul. If I don't say Rohit, he'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Rohit, come on. Yeah. Mm, I would say Manish. Okay. Manish. Are you mad? Degi, yar, choose. Falguni also. <laughs> no, I'm talking about style, right? I never copy you. And Shah Nikhil. It's me. <laughs> For me, it's Masaba. Okay, great. Thank you. I go hope uh, you guys had a good time. And uh, what? Take a picture and we should get out of here. What? what? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Can we have a on so stage, you. please, to take a photo up? Can we have all the talent on stage? All the models, all the muses. <laughs>